Build Show today coming to you from the Builders First Source National Event. We're at the Ready Frame house that they built in like 10 hours. This is like a 2,200 square foot house. But they built it with about four or five different things when it comes to framing that I've never seen before, including, check out that header back there. So we're gonna show you some really cool things that are very doable, but can absolutely help the performance, the sound performance, the insulation value, and the speed on your jobs. That being said, from the Builders First Source National event, let's get going. All right, guys, you've met Terry before. Terry, good to see you, brother. How you doing, Matt? Welcome. So, so Terry, the first thing that just absolutely caught my attention that I've never seen before, this appears to be a truss header. I've never seen that. What's going on here? Yes, Matt, we designed uh, a truss, uh, uh, like a open web floor truss. We're yep. utilizing it for a header on a uh, an exterior opening. And the reason that we're doing that is that when we get the uh, header in place, you can put the insulation in here, and now you've got, you can just pack this thing full of insulation, all right? It was really interesting when we were putting this header up, and my framer was telling me, are you sure you wanna use this uh, for, a, for your header? And uh, <laughs> while we were loading this thing up with the trusses, it never flexed a bit. Is so that it's right? engineered to handle the load. Yeah, and Absolutely. you got some heavy trusses on the outside here. Yeah. What are those double two by tens and these scissor trusses? That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's really, really nice. We, this whole house was designed that way. We used a lot of different techniques for framing in here. You typically wouldn't go to a, a, your job site and build this house. It's got all these different framing techniques right. in it. So we're going to show you some of that today. All right. So first, Terry, the first thing that sticks out to my mind for people who don't know it, you have this ink jetted package here that actually says ready frame on it. And there's yes. these symbols and markings. Yes. Explain to us what's going on here. Absolutely. So we, in the markings on the bottom plate, we do this on the top plate as well. So this is marked as a king stud and a king stud. The studs themselves, we don't do anything. We're just pulling those off a traditional uh, bundle. Okay. But then your trimmer, your trimmer. So your trimmer, it's telling you that it's a two by six. It's telling you it's a trimmer. And then it gives you the length of the piece here. That <laughs> length matches up with this right here. Gotcha. Now the other information, Matt, that's in there, if you come over here to the corner, it's telling you that this is an exterior wall. It's on level one, and this is wall panel number eight. So when we pull all this up, we're gonna come back across, we're gonna see where these parts and pieces are labeled as a 108 as well. So we have all the different sizes uh, marked. We have all the different locations for the studs, whether it's a two by four dimensional, or a two by six dimensional. We also can cut this in uh, LVL and LSL to give you a uh, better engineered wall. And we'll talk about that more as we get around to some of those locations. That's pretty awesome. So when you saw this 108 over here, when you come over here, it's see this, look at there, 108. E108. So you know exactly where these parts and pieces That's go. pretty awesome. It's all done for a purpose. Just trying to help these framers out and speed them up a little bit. Now we use this uh, ready frame package on the house that I built in Austin called the Reisinger build. And Terry, it absolutely sped our framing time up. I bet we saved about 40%. Yes. Uh, I framed that house, which is uh, 3,200 square feet. We were dried in in nine days and that's full, full sheathing on the roof the whole shebang. It yes. was really, really cool. Yes. We also utilized on that house this, which is really fascinating, uh, which is a staggered stud wall. Show us what this looks like and explain to us on the markings that we're seeing here. So this sure. is this is uh, studs that are on a two by four stud with a two by six bottom plate, which allows you to have this space here that's gonna give you some much better sound levels. This Absolutely. is commonly called a staggered stud wall, right? Exactly. So you use this for an interior wall, for a sound uh, proofing area to, to give you additional space that you can get insulation in there. But you'll see, Matt, when we mark the bottom plate and top plate, so this is saying it's a two by four up, which means it's in the up position. When you start sliding back, it has the two by four in the down position. Now you're starting to get that stagger uh, throughout the so wall. So got up, we right? got down. The other thing really that's really, smart. really cool about this wall, Matt, is this house had a vaulted uh, ceiling in it. So we had this uh, wall designed as a vault with staggered studs. Oh my gosh, and, wow. And so we pre-cut these studs as well. So all <laughs> on, the, uh, on the rake. And that shows the power of your system. Because look, that rake to cut that, 
uh, with staggered too. Would, would have taken some time. Oh, absolutely. The amount of time that it takes to do that, uh, even in our shop, we cut these one at a time. The other thing that I'll point out to you, typically you get on a job site like this, you have a, a, a rake wall, mm -hmm. especially this tall, you start going up like that. They start growing apart, right? Right, right. These, these pieces have all been precision cut and are in exactly the spot that they're supposed to be. Yeah, they're cutting Just the one of the different framing features that we're showing here. That's really cool. Right. No, we're, we're, uh, we're talking wall framing right now, but let's, let's take a, a side note and talk about these floor trusses we're seeing here. You guys have uh, at pretty much every location around the country, yeah. the, available to, the availability to order floor trusses as well as roof trusses. And if yeah. you haven't seen these floor trusses, man, look at how open that web is. Yeah. So you could run uh, your ducting, your electrical. We, we actually have a, a, a duct chase that we did design. This is a pretty small one, but we can design these duct chases right into your house to give you the accessibility that you're looking for yep. to get from your back of the house to the back uh, to the front without having to go around a lot of different walls. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I like it. Terry, right. let's move around to the next room and show something else that Fantastic. you guys have done. You're calling this your... Uh, this is an, our energy efficient room. Okay, I right? like we it. We did frame this room with uh, two by six. Uh -huh. uh, we did use uh, zip system R6 sheeting yep. on the exterior of this house. So that has an inch of insulation be basically bonded to the zip system. So on the outside is zip and the inside you're seeing the back of the uh, insulation. So it, every stud has an R6 uh, thermal break on it basically. Correct, yep. that's exactly right. The yep. other thing we did in this room, Matt, you're going to want to get a close up of this guy. These are windows from Anderson. Look at the heat gain on this particular window. So low, very low solar heat gain. This would be really good in the south and also really low U factor uh, 0.20. So that's like an R5 window with a really low solar heat gain coefficient. That'd be a great window to use yeah. uh, in the south or really the north. Yeah, exactly. Impressive. I want to show you another framing feature in here, Matt. This is what we call an R box, right? Okay. With an R box is the rough opening below the window. So when we do this, we take the actual parts and pieces and you'll see on the bottom where I have a double bottom plate down here, yep. but it's all part of the R box and we can build all this. So imagine your framer that's coming down through here and he's placing his stud, stud, stud. Oh, I, I have a window, you grow, grab your R box throw it in place and uh, just keep framing. So right? this is basically pre-framed, pre whereas the rest of the sticks That's it. were either just like these regular studs right off the bundle that were pre-cuts, yes. or the ones that are inkjetted, which are the ones that were precision pre-cut, exactly. like this where you're seeing the ready frame logo and jack stud on there. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, exactly. I like it. Good we're just stuff. trying to help them speed up the, the framing process. Yeah. All right. Now, as I come around here to this next wall, Terry, I'm seeing that you guys have switched to a different type of stud. What are we looking at here? We framed uh, this room, this entire room with uh, LSL. And the reason we did that is to give ourselves a nice uh, straight wall. Now, typically we wouldn't frame a, a whole house with LSL studs. The thing though, Matt, is you, you've used dimensional lumber throughout the rest of your house. When you get to a kitchen area and you have to, you need that flat wall for your uh, uh, kitchen cabinets, um, you can use LSL in order to achieve that. Yeah, so this is a man-made stud. It's in some respects similar to oriented strand board. Yes. Uh, but every stud that comes off the pack, dead straight, dead flat. Yeah, absolutely. And the yeah. thing, Matt, here, look at this. We also did these in ready frame. So we ah. take that LSL stud and we do the same process. Gotcha. We, we chase it right through our uh, So in other uh, words, frame when you're building this ready frame house, the builder can say, hey, I want to use LSLs in all my kitchen and bath areas. But oh, in the yeah. rest of the house, I'm going to switch to just standard SPF yeah, or Doug fur or whatever. Exactly. We're going to design the house exactly the way you tell us to design it. We're, like we're not going to just throw material in there. So if you, you want to use LSL or you want to use LVL, we can do that as well. Hey, Terry, before we leave here, I want to mention, uh, looks like a different style header. What are we looking at here? Yes. You know, we, before we looked at the uh, uh, engineered header, the uh, open web trust uh, header. Now, in this particular room, we have the LSL, but we also have an LVL header here. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of different applications for headers. Uh, there's uh, LVL, there's LSL. There is a, a dimensional lumber yep. uh, utilizing uh, a four by six, four by eight, that sort of thing. 
You know, Matt, I was at a, a house recently. It was a custom house, and uh, they insisted that they wanted to use uh, dimensional lumber for their headers. Mm -hmm. And we had done ready frame on the house. Uh, the problem that we ran into is the, the headers shrunk. You get those big pieces of wood, they start shrinking a little yeah. bit, and now you end up with those gaps. What I recommended to the builder was to use engineered wood uh, in the future. Yeah, I'm a big fan, Terry, of engineered lumber for headers uh, because I spent a bunch of years as a warranty manager of a national production builder where we had all 2 by 12 field-made headers. And inevitably, once heating season came, we'd see shrinkage and every window would crack at the corner. And I'd, I'd have to send my punch guy uh, back to these houses that are six months, a year old, and fix those cracks in the corners. But when you have an engineered header like that, that thing's rock solid. It's not moving or changing. So I'm a big fan of using uh, engineered. I suspect too, Terry, that your truss header probably wouldn't change a whole lot either, would it? No, it's engineered and, and uh, the, the uh, wood species that we're using in there and the metal fi uh, connectors, uh, that's not going to go anywhere on yeah. you at all. Now, Terry, what'd you do different in this part of the house as you build it? On uh, the back side here, we've got our uh, uh, eye joist, but I want to show you another interesting framing technique here. Okay. So, Matt, what we did here on this wall I, is this is a two by four frame wall, but what I, I designed into this house is a three by four every 48 inches on center. A all right? three by four? A three by four. I don't think I've ever seen a three by four on yes. the job site before, Terry. So it's really just a two by four that's a little fatter. Yes, a three exactly. Four. And the reason that we do this, as a builder, have you ever uh, failed a, a, a sheer nail inspection? Uh, you got, we call them a shiner, right? We call right. them shiners in our business. Uh, so with the three by four, it gives you a much better chance of hitting that stud when you're nailing your sheeting from the outside and passing inspection that first time. So you're building in a seismic zone, you're building in a hurricane zone. Yes. That shear value is super important. And a lot of inspectors are very, very particular. So exactly. yes, we're gonna have a little more thermal bridging, but we're gonna have good shear. So in other words, you've got that on the four foot on center. This one's a little hidden by the uh, insulation, yes. but there it is right there. And it looks to be also ready framed. Was that pre-cut? Yes, it's all ready framed, right designed right in. If you, we could get up onto that marking, it's going to have on there three by four, where before I showed you where it said two by four or two by six, now it's going to say three by four. That's pretty awesome. Just did a lot of different things. Now, back around this side, over our garage, we used a uh, glue lamb ah, beam. Glue lamb header, yeah. Right? Got it. Again, we're just trying to show you a whole lot of different techniques here. Yeah. Again, as I said earlier, you really wouldn't frame your house with all these different things. And then, Matt, we have uh, Boise Cascade eye joist on top. And we pre-cut the the, the runs uh, so for your duct work. Not just knockouts, but pre-cuts. Yes. Being this duck chase right here, pre-cut. Yes. And this one that's a little uh, more uh, square or maybe rectangular, I should yes. say. Yes, yes. All perfectly lined up. That would be awesome like if you had Rhea duct, right? Oh, absolutely. And you know with Rhea, you're running for a home run every time, right? So you get a few extra... Uh, runs of ductwork in there, but this gives you that space. And it's all been uh, pre-designed and engineered right into the house. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so we'll come back around this side, Matt, here. I want to show you one more technique okay. here in the framing. But here, I, again, this is uh, real ladder. simple. Yeah, ladder block. A lot of these framers, oh, that's, you know, we do that all the time. But people understand, we can design this right into the house and then we can cut the blocking. What that allows us to do is use more of the wood fiber, all right, yeah, which yeah. makes your house greener. It becomes a more sustainable house. This is called a ladder back. Yeah, and the, also full depth insulation back there, right? So I got oh, a two yes. by six cavity. This is only taking an inch and a half right there. And now I've got full access to put whatever type of insulation in there. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's One really more cool. thing I want to show you here. Let's this house it. is pretty complicated. But now we're going to show you some LVL. Oh, okay? LVL stuff. And again, yes. we got it marked all the way down here. If you come down, you can see everything's been ready framed and cut. You got the studs and then you got the kings, the trimmers. All of these parts and pieces have all been cut to length. You even pre-printed on those. Pre-printed uh, as well, Matt. That's Absolutely. Cool. We can uh, and trim. Again, the same header too. Yeah. And LVL header as well. Exactly. Exactly. Very Just good. showing you a number of different techniques. Terry, super fun to hang out with you today, man. Thank you for the, uh, the uh, kind of tour of the different framing options and world out there. Uh, if people don't know, 
uh, really ready frames available at almost every BFS location nationwide, right? Yeah, we have ready frame uh, in 28 states. Uh, we have 91 saws that are up and running. We have capacity to help you as a builder out, save time, uh, cut down on waste, and help your uh, uh, job go much more efficiently. I'll put a link in the description for the house that Terry and I built together with Ready Frame. Uh, it's called the Reisinger Build Project. We've done a massive series on it, and we shot two like 45 minute videos on this on the job site to show you. So go check those out. Uh, Terry, really appreciate the time. Super awesome tour. And guys, if you're not currently a subscriber, Hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Big thanks to Builders Source Source for having me out at their national event. They're one of our uh, biggest build show support supporters, allowing me to make free content for you on how to build a better house. So I really appreciate their partnership. You know, our motto is know better, build better. And BFS has been a great partner in helping you to know better. That being said, guys, hit that subscribe button below. we got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.